thanks for stopping by. So today I'm in Killarney in County Kerry in the very south of Ireland and I'm going to climb a mountain. Well it's more of a hill to be honest uh, but officially it's a mountain, Torque Mountain. It's 535 meters high and even though it is a pretty easy mountain to climb I'm still going to make sure I'm prepared. I've got my good hiking boots now, there are railway sleepers all the way up to the top of Torque, but it's still advisable to bring really good footwear, uh, just in case you slip, it can be very wet up there. You also need some good clothes. You, it's April at the moment, it's pretty cool, there's a lot of rain showers out, so warm clothes and rain resistant clothes as well. I'm also bringing a backpack and I've got a spare top in there if I need it. I've got a hat, um, I've got some water, important to stay hydrated. Uh, I've got some food to snack on like a banana and a mandarin and just I've got a mobile phone yeah just in case anything goes wrong which it shouldn't because it's well signposted. I'm going to head to the lower car park so we can check out the waterfall. A lot of tourists will be familiar with that. It's a pretty famous waterfall. You can also go to the upper car park which is that little bit closer to the, to the mountain itself. Uh, but we're going to go to the lower car park, um, and that's about a 20 minute extra walk. All in all, we should be talking about an hour and a half to the, to the summit. Uh, let's see how it goes. Alright, there's Tork Waterfall behind me. So this area is really popular with tourists. Something like a two minute walk from the lower car park, where I've just parked my car. Most people just come to this point, which is beautiful. But uh, there's a whole mountain to climb behind, if you just go up those steps behind my other shoulder. Uh, that's a starting point, so I'm reckoning it's going to be about 90 minutes from here. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get started now. Leaving the waterfall behind, climbing up the steps. It's a lot of steps first of all, then there's a kind of just a normal path that winds upwards. Bit of a rocky path, but it's not, it's not too bad, it's quite easy underfoot. And then once you get kind of the base of the actual mountain itself, it's pretty much railway sleepers that the national parks have put down, or is it the OPW, um, all the way up. So even uh, reasonably young children, once they're with their parents, once they're prepared, once they have the right gear, they could climb this mountain. The walk takes you through a bit of a forested area before we're come out and gonna come out into a valley and hit the base of the mountain before we start climbing it. Beautiful around here though, there's hardly anybody about, it's like 9 o'clock on an April morning, April Saturday morning. Weather isn't the greatest so there's not a whole lot of people out, just a few people walking their dogs really. Saw one group of tourists so far, that's it. Had the place to myself, me and the deer. Okay, here I am just walking by the upper car park, so it's only taken me just under 10 minutes to walk up here so if you haven't been to Torque before then I definitely recommend you park at the lower car park otherwise you're not going to see the waterfall and it's only 10 minutes extra not even that on your journey up so it's definitely well worth checking out the waterfall very well signposted here as well so uh, we're going this way okay I've been following that pad for about uh, 20 minutes or so that path actually is the, the old Killarney to Kenmare Road. Um, yeah, this obviously is a brand new road now, but uh, that's what it would have looked like. Uh, and I've come to this point here, so you can see a little signpost behind me and the steps. So this is what I would call the actual base of the mountain now, where the actual mountain part starts and uh, the incline becomes a little bit greater. It's still not huge. Should come across the railway sleeper soon. Uh, but it's impossible to take a wrong turn from here because it's literally just you just follow the railway sleepers and follow the, the gradient upwards. Already the view is starting to become pretty spectacular up here. There's the oft spoken of railway sleepers behind me. It really is a spectacular valley. I don't know if you can make out behind me the the road that's kind of winding. Uh, way way down there that is the um, that's the old road to Kenmare continuing on you can actually still walk to Kenmare there to Malls Gap and to Kenmare from there using that path I think it's part of the Kerry Way not too sure but look at that valley whoa 
about a quarter of the way up I'd say. Maybe half, maybe half. Don't forget to take uh, regular breaks for water as you go. Really important to stay hydrated. Not sponsored by the way. Look at the lakes of Killarney there behind me. Amazing view. Amazing view of the whole valley. Only about another 20 minutes to the top, I'd say. Okay, so I get a bit closer to the summit. Pretty close now. The wind has picked up just a little bit. It's starting to feel a bit cooler. So I mentioned the importance of bringing extra layers. So I just put on my hat. I've zipped up the top. And uh, feeling a bit warmer already. So I'm ready for, uh, ready to summit this baby now. Here's the summit. Let's just step over here. See that view. Hope that's coming across well on the camera. Imagine what it's like on a sunny day, it's pretty cloudy today. You've got amazing views of the lakes of Killarney. Killarney town itself in the background. Muckers house and gardens. Some of the mountains in the distance. Not bad today to view, but on a, on a clear day it's absolutely incredible. So that's it, 535 meters. It's not quite Mount Everest, but it's still pretty satisfying to make it to the top. A great bit of exercise. So uh, it actually only took me an hour and 10 minutes to get to the summit from the moment I left my car in the lower car park to the summit of Torque, an hour and 10 minutes. And that's going at a, I'd say a moderate to, to good pace, but still allowing time to stop for, for video, for, for photos, and for water. So you can easily do this in an hour if you're anyway into your trekking. If you have children, I'd say maybe an hour and a half, or if you're not that fit, but um, it's still achievable. Bring the right footwear, bring the right clothes, bring plenty of water and you'll be fine. And look at these views. Well worth it. So on the way back down, it's often quicker, but that doesn't mean it's easier. So you'll have to be very careful with your footing. It's been quite uh, wet here in the last few days as well, so can be a bit slippy on the on the sleepers or particularly in the, the rocky areas so you still really do need to watch your footing and, and if you have anyway good boots it helps um, but uh, yeah you still just really got to be careful it has been a bit mucky like I said so if you were kind of trying to chance it coming up in uh, in some nice shoes or nice new runners you would have been uh, you would have been a bit annoyed because you would have got them a bit dirty so keep with the boots, proper boots, and you won't go too far wrong. I think I'm really appreciating the landscape and the view even more so on my way down. I'm really just taking my time, drinking it all in. I mean, this, this is only a short drive from, from Killarney Town. And, I mean, look, look around, it's wild, it's rugged, it's beautiful. And this, and Torque Mountain is only like a, one small part of the national park. It's a huge national park which is on Killarney's doorstep. So much more to see and to explore. What I love the most I'd say about this part of the world is uh, how friendly the locals are. And I've met like uh, a couple of people on my way up and on my way down. And every single one of them has stopped to say hello, how are you? You just don't get that anywhere else. Well, maybe you do, but not definitely not everywhere. Very, very friendly locals. So, two hours, 15 minutes later, I'm back at the waterfall. You can do it at a quicker pace, you can do it at a slower pace. All that's important is that you do it at your own pace. You see there's a lot more tourists now at the waterfall than, um, than when I got here earlier this morning. But yeah, so I mean, fresh air, great exercise, beautiful scenery, 
and it's all completely free. So get out there and take advantage of it. Thanks for checking out the video today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this. And Bear Grills, if you're watching, I'm coming for you.